Fighting superheroes are here. Batman, Robin, Superman, Spider-Man, Captain America, and Lizard. You control their power-packed punches. You get dynamic double action with the fearless flying fists of fist-fighting superheroes from Palatoy. Amazing new lolly from Lion's Made, Space 1999. Icy lime flavor outside, oozy red center. Space 1999, with three picture cards from Lion's Made. Skyhawk, the fantastic new hang glider for Action Man. First launch it, then release the tow gear. And Skyhawk soars high above the ground. Skyhawk, new from Palatoy. Above the streets and houses, rainbow climbing high. Everyone can see it smiling over the sky. Paint the whole world with a rainbow. Your last day at the Zermatt School for Young Ladies. And your final and most important lesson. How to spend Daddy's lovely money. Checkbooks open, girls. Pens at the ready. No, 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 Felicity. You couldn't possibly go shopping in Knightsbridge with one of those. A pen with style. A pen with elan. A Parker lady in white rolled gold. Lots just seem to roll from its tip. Signatures flow with a flourish. Now then, all together, girls. Yes, Celia? Madame, does one spell pence with an S or a C? I don't think you need worry about that, my dear. The Parker Lady in white roll gold, £9.95. Good with tab. Diet cola with a delicious new taste. Tab helps you when you're slimming. You looking good with tab. Because one can of tab has less than one calorie. You're looking good with tab. You're looking good with tab. You're looking good with tab. New tab, the diet cola from the Coca-Cola Company. 
Millions of years ago, dinosaurs tried to eat each other. Today, there are dinosaurs in your lion's made shop. Lovely vanilla and chocolate flavored ice cream dinosaurs. The difference is, you gobble them up. Introducing a classic combination. Give me that. New Cadbury's Caramel. Dairy milk chocolate with a rich, firm caramel center. Delicious. Maybe this will help. It certainly will. Cadbury and Caramel. Some things were just meant for each other. Foresight, the master entertainer. But what's he really like? Sunday Mirror writer Colin Wills tells you tomorrow. You'll love the real Bruce in the Sunday Mirror. The Prime Minister, Mr. Callahan, gives his first interview. Don't miss this important exclusive in tomorrow's Sunday Mirror. Girls, they're taking over everywhere. A super picture special. Lollipop Men, is there something wrong? Disturbing facts. Cup final, the real lowdown. All in the marvelous Sunday Mirror tomorrow. I'm changing to the Sunday Mirror. Here to 
you fight the force of evil And your chance won't be denied Woman of the hour With your superpower We're so glad you're on our side Wonder Woman Well, it's all right, it's all right Look for the sunny side, it's all right Dance in the rain, lay in the sun Have a coat, tell a joke, long as it's fun Well, it's all right, it's all right Look for the sunny side, it's all right Look for the real thing, and it's all right Carina Photomatic have sun-sensitive lenses. As the outlook gets brighter, the lens gets darker. Carina sunglasses wear nothing else. Well, practically nothing. Sky, hello blue. There's nothing can hold me when I hold you. It feels so right, it can't be wrong. Rocking and rolling all week long. Sunday, Monday, happy days. Tuesday, Wednesday, happy days. Thursday, Friday, happy days. Saturday, what a day. and grapefruit. That's Lilt. ABBA's Greatest Hits. Mamma Mia, here I go again. Fifteen unforgettable tracks on one great album. So when you hear me, darling, can't you hear me? It's so Including their very latest chart buster, Fernando. From Waterloo to Fernando, ABBA's Greatest Hits, out now. Somewhere in space, this may all be happening right now. 20th Century Fox and George Lucas, the man who brought you American graffiti, now bring you an adventure unlike anything on your planet. Star Wars. Here they come. The story of a boy, a girl, and a universe. It's a big, sprawling space saga of rebellion and romance. It's a spectacle light years ahead of its time. I am C-3PO, human cyborg relations, and this is my counterpart, R2-D2. Hello. No caution, no caution! It's an epic of heroes. Good luck! And 
humans and aliens from a thousand worlds. Here's a great new way to keep trim in just minutes a day. The sensational American Consumer Exerciser is your own portable gymnasium. Just hook it over any doorknob or bedpost and away you go. Lie down, relax, watch TV if you like, and our exerciser helps you tone up hips, thighs, calves and ankles. It's the easy way to a trimmer and more shapely figure. Shape up fast with the American Consumer Exerciser. Now only $2.99, only $2.99 from your local store. Um, Campari, please. Campari, please. Soda? No, lemonade. Lemonade. No, soda. Oh. Campari and lemonade? How can you possibly? Like this, mate. Campari. With soda, with lemonade, with tonic. But always with pleasure. It's nice here, isn't it? Ravishing. Yeah. Hello again. There's been a big new oil find under the North Sea. It's so big that it could produce 300,000 barrels of oil a day, and there are 35 gallons in every ballon. This vast deposit of oil lies 75 miles northeast of the Shetland Islands, which themselves are about 160 miles off the northeast coast of Scotland. The oil will be taken by pipeline to Shetland, but getting it out of the ocean will be a big problem. The sea there is 500 feet deep, and when the drill reaches the bottom, it then has to get through 10,000 feet of rock to get to the oil. A drilling rig can cost between 40 and 50 million pounds, and it'll be at least a year before anyone knows just how much oil there is in this latest undersea reservoir. Another big snag is the weather. In this area of the North Sea, it's some of the worst in the world, with constant gales and massive waves. Once the oil does get to Shetland, it's going to change the way of life of the people who live in these remote islands. Many Shetlanders feel that when the rich oilmen move in, the traditional industries of herring fishing, knitting and farming will be threatened. This is because the oil companies will be able to pay higher wages. But other people say that the changes will all be for the better, because they'll give the islands more prosperity. One thing is certain, the oil that comes through Shetland in a few years' time will mean that Britain won't have to rely completely on oil from the Middle East, and shortages like the one we've got at the moment might be avoided. In Yugoslavia, two young British plane spotters have been sentenced to four years each in prison for spying. Roger Curtis from London, who was on holiday in Yugoslavia with his friend Paul Mason when they were arrested at Mostar Airport for spying on military aircraft. They both said that the plane spotting was their hobby and quite harmless, but the police didn't believe them. This afternoon I asked Paul's mother, Mrs Marjorie Mason, if she thought it possible they were spies. He's been plane spotters since I bought him his binoculars as a all level present. There's no, no reason at all to think that they're spies. They haven't, don't have the time or anything. They're just interested in aeroplanes. And now you've just heard that uh, both Paul and his friend are going to have to serve four years in jail in Yugoslavia. How do you feel now? Well, the quickest way to get them out is, um, is the un well, we shall work as hard as we can to get them out now, because they must be made to understand that our way of life is different from theirs, and if... And these boys are not spies. There's, there's no harm in them at all. 
The magazine Witch, that examines all kinds of things for sale, has been looking at craft kits which might appeal to people from 11 upwards, and it thinks that three of them could be very dangerous. The first is the Dippet Fantasy Film. It's a kit for colouring wire shapes, and Witch says that the colouring liquid stained clothes and hands and gives off a vapour which could make you feel very ill, and it's also highly inflammable. But the tin does carry a warning saying that children using the kit should be supervised. Well, the enamel craft kit could also catch fire. And says the magazine, the hardener could irritate the skin and it's impossible to get off clothes once it's hardened. And the red and the yellow paint contain lead, which is poisonous. Well, the makers said that the colours had now been changed. But which said that there was a lot of lead in the kit they bought only two months ago. Well, the most dangerous kit, according to which, was this one, the enamel air kit. It has a little kiln with what looks like a handle where the flex comes out. Well, this gets very hot and it could burn a child badly. And the yellow and green paints had a lot of lead and arsenic in them, which are both dangerous. Well, the makers say that they've never had any complaints about children being burned or poisoned but which says that they think children shouldn't use this kit at all. On New Year's Day, two men and one girl are going to set out for an epic round-the-world journey, rowing all the way. Derek King, Peter Bird and Carol Mayston are using the Britannia II, the same boat that John Fairfax and Sylvia Cook used two years ago when they rowed across the Pacific. It's 35 feet long with plenty of room to lie down, but little shelter from rough weather. The round-the-world journey is 24,000 miles and it'll take them about two and a half years. They leave Gibraltar on the 1st of January, go across the Atlantic and through the Panama Canal, then across the Pacific, past Australia and over the Indian Ocean. They hope to be allowed through the Suez Canal. It's blocked by large ships at the moment, but they hope a rowing boat will get through, then up the Mediterranean and back to Gibraltar. Well, today, the three rowers were trying out their boat on the Thames in London. Their leader, Derek King, has done one long-distance row before, single-handed around Ireland. The others haven't, but Carol says that she will row on equal terms with the men. One of the biggest problems we're all facing these days is what to do with the growing mountains of rubbish we throw away as life gets richer and more wrapped up. Plastic wrappings are the biggest problem. And unlike paper and cardboard, plastic won't rot away with the weather. But scientists in Japan may have found a solution. David Smeaton reports for Newsround. For years now, scientists have been trying to find a plastic that's non-poisonous and can be easily destroyed. And now a firm in Japan says it's done just that. They've produced a new material called pululum. It's made in a laboratory by growing yeast together with starch that you get from corn or potatoes or by mixing with products from dates. And the result is this powder. And if you mix water with pululum, you can use it to press out solid plastic shapes. It can also be used to make a very strong glue. And another way you can use this new starch plastic, you can draw it out into fibers. So there's a prospect perhaps even of clothes from it. And you can also use it to make what we all recognize, the normal flimsy plastic for wrapping things up. Well, the next point is, how do you get rid of it? Easily. No harm. No harm. What other things have you made from this? Well, we made bread and rolls, cookies and biscuits with it. Well, there you have it. A new plastic made from starch that you can eat, that's non-poisonous, and can be easily got rid of. If it can be made cheaply in commercial quantities, it could work a revolution in our lives and our homes. And you never know, there may come a day when we don't have to take the sandwich out of the wrapper before we eat it. Mm. Farmers in the north of Scotland are being taught new ways of rounding up their cattle. At a special one-day course, they're learning how to lasso cows Wild West style. The farmers are shown how to make a lasso and tie the special knots, but they're also getting real practical experience in the art of steer roping. The cows they are learning on are friendly enough, but many of the cows that roam the Scottish Highlands are almost wild. 
Highland cattle don't see people very often and they don't like coming down to the farms. And when they need special medical treatment, the farmers and vets have to go out to them. But the cattle have still got to be caught and farmers think that roping them cowboy fashion might be the answer. And that's all for us for now. We'll be back with you round again next Tuesday. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Well, did you want a Pepsi? Don't know, she didn't say. I had a smack of those squinching ace, tasting more than really good. Buzzing cool, talking high, walking fast, living in a given cool fizzing Pepsi. Saturday and I'll give you the world. We'll spend the evening on the yacht sipping Pepsi from champagne glasses under the stars. Think about it. I'll give you my phone number and you can call me when you've decided. Your office number or your home number? Neither. It's a fish and chip shop over the road, but they'll take a message. Cool dog and high, walking fast in and ever get a cool fizz in Pepsi. mucking out the pigs and milking things we don't mention and they said 
come on, top of the pops, lad. So I stuffed me straw into me back pocket and rushed down to London town to be with you all. And here, the second act on the show that you're going to love. What, what? It's the ELO. <laughs> What are you doing after the show? I mean, we've got a rave going on in a pigsty, if you're fancy. Oh, sorry. Um, yes, uh, that was Raining All Over the World by And Now We Have ELO. And that was And Now We Have Elton John with his latest biggie. Uh, goodbye, Yellow Rose of Kentucky. Yay! Back to 
You can tell I worked for the BBC, I can't have me bridge work done. I mean, Tony Blackburn gets fresh sets of teeth every day, but me? <laughs> anyway, it's pin back your lug holes time for Status Quo. Street Caroline at number nine. See this massive thing? This is BBC Camera One, and it's through this obelisk that we're going to see now Pan's people dancing to Detroit Spinners! sick and tired living in a town filled with narrow minds and hate they used to laugh at me their children called me names I would run and hide villain 
feeling so ashamed just for being born. I was just a boy punished for a crime that was not mine. Life ain't so easy when you're a ghetto child. Oh baby, life ain't so easy when you're a ghetto child. No one tried to understand. A child reality is paid for by his folks' fancy fairy tale. All bought and sold by those who can well afford. Time to make believe childhood dreams can still come true. Uh -huh. So I've been wondering, traveling all around, guess it ain't my style. Just one time, still I'll never know why a child is blamed, ridiculed, and shamed. We're all the same. And now, it's new release time. And what a new release we have for you, ladies and gentlemen. He's come all the way from his dressing room to sing this one at you. It's Love Is All by Engelbert Umperdink. Yeah. 
what a grand song. What fun we're having. That was Engelbert Umberdink. Thank you, Eng, and may your humple never dumple. <laughs> Whew. Well, I've been asked by the British Board of Governors to say that it wasn't hello, red brick housing estate, it was goodbye, yellow brick road. And now, my friend Stan. <laughs> Slade, hello. But you've got a fine set of others, my dear. I hear you. And now, straight from America, we have a magnificent group who are going to do their second in a long series of tuits. And it's Limmy and Family Cooking and their latest smash rule, Dreamboat! <laughs> Oh, you 
Fab, let me in a family cooking. Ooh, hang on, I have a word with the director. Hello, is that the director? Good. Um, can I bring some cows next week? It's all right, the house trained. Ooh, these BBC people, you know, asked to put on a show, try and get a few cows in it, and what do they say? Something I can't repeat, I can tell you. Meanwhile, we have violins. You know, love is like a violin. Well, here's a group that's just like a violin, all varnished and covered in string. It's Eye Level by the Simon Park Orchestra. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to leave you with Ike and Tina Turner, where we say good night. What are you looking at? We're going to say good night from Top of the Pop. See you next week. And I'm Madirio's Land Dudno Yaki Dog. Goodbye! <laughs>
I must say, it's quite incredible the emotion men feel about this St. Bruno thing. I mean, get them within a mile of the silly stuff and they start raving about its glorious flavor. Oops! And how it takes ten days to produce an ounce of that precious, slow-burning blend. Quite frankly, I think they're madly hyperbolical. Thank you. But show me a man with St. Bruno in his pipe and I'll show him my unwavering credulity. Believe that and you believe anything. Polythene bag at the back of the fridge, and would you believe a couple of your actual tomatoes? Oh, that's right, that's right, yes. Uncle Albert invited himself round to tea, informed me what he wanted, and then got involved in Gilbert. The pigeon. We haven't actually met, but I have heard about him. Yeah, he's adopted it, or it's adopted him. I don't know which way around. Anyway, what was I saying? You were saying how good I am at making bricks out of straw. Oh, yeah. And coffee perking in the percolator. Well, there's Posh. Mm, I found that at the back of the sideboard, behind a lot of back numbers of the Observer Collar Supplement. I'd forgotten I'd got it. Girls in the office bought it as a wedding present. Yeah. Do you think that's enough toast, or should I do some more? Nah, it'd be great. Nothing but lemon juice. <clears throat> For three whole days? Mm. And then they let her have a carrot or summer. And how much did she lose in the end? Oh, nearly half a stone in the week. I knew she were dead chuffed she could get back into a strapless bra again. But personally, I thought she looked very gaunt in the face. It didn't suit her. That's where I always lose it. In you the do. face. You do. You never lose it where you really need it. I mean, why do you think I never bother? Apart from the fact that I enjoy my grub too much. At the risk of being accused of nagging. You're nagging. And spoiling an idyllic moment, I presume you have taken that contract? You presume correct. When? What do you mean, when? When did you take it? I mean, at breakfast you hadn't even finished it. You don't trust me, do you? Not conspicuously, no. Do you think I'd be standing here supping if I hadn't? Very probably, and that doesn't answer my question. I took it this morning on the way to Woodall's. All right? All right. Now, where are you going? I'm going somewhere where he can eat this flaming pie in peace. You know that Grindrod's job? Worth a nice few hundred quid, he'd just let it slip through his fingers if we weren't behind him. Leave it tender till last flaming minute. Ah, oh, well, he's took it now, ain't he? Excuse me a minute, will you? I want a word with Bat. God, if it weren't for Raymond, the old flaming boat would sink. Uh, Bat, could I uh, just have a word, please? Look, um, with you being a, a, a bit of a mate of Carlos's... Well, I'm not I really, love. He just lodges in the same house, that's all. No, but I mean, you see him, don't you? Well, only when we bump into each other on landing or on stairs. I've come to think of it, I've not seen him there much lately, neither. So he... He wouldn't have been likely to set out about Mavis. Well, he's not set out. In fact, I've not clapped eyes on him since they got engaged. You'd think he'd be more pally now, wouldn't you, instead of keeping out of my road? Perhaps thinks I'm jealous. Aye. Right. Ta. Well, tell me. Can't stand people who ain't. I'm the last one to gossip. I, I know that's a typical Hilda Ogdenism, but I, I think in my case you do know it to be true. Can you see what I've had with her all the way down the street? Emily, dear, we wouldn't dream of bracketing you with Mrs Ogden. But it's just that I, I do feel in this case, as it seems a significant omen of good news for a change, I mean, it's the bad news that Mrs Ogden always relishes in Emily, party. dear, do tell us. Well, um... You know that Janet came to see Kenneth yesterday afternoon? 
Well, her car was still outside his house this morning. It would seem to indicate that she spent the night there, which would also seem to indicate that one broken marriage is very possibly on the mend. Yes, indeed. Then again, on the other hand, it could just indicate that car had broken down. Hey, you should be careful how I go in there if I were you. I'm not with you. Well, there's a real up and down to going on. They're playing Muriel. Who are? All right, Albert. Your rum's going cold. What's up? I think she's dead. Well, aren't we, Uncle Jack? Yeah, but it's really lighting up there now. We mates getting into the skull. <laughs> you say that again. Oh, I can see it now. Clear and golden. Just the right amount of head. Whoa. It's got a real smack to it. Well, what do you think? I think I prefer it in straight glass. Skull drinking. It's the taste that makes you do it. This is Pagan Man undergoing his fertility rites. He wears exotic fragrances and ceremonial dress. He and his chosen female feast on rare and succulent foods. Pagan Man bestows gifts of beads upon his woman. They drink to each other's honor. And finally, adjourn to their hut on the edge of the tribal village. Pagan Man aftershave, because there's a bit of the pagan in every man. to tease my dad about his dandruff and then one day he turned around and told me I had dandruff 
while I'm modeling, so, you know, my hair has to look nice. So I tried other dandruff shampoos and they just didn't work for me. So I tried Head and Shoulders and it was incredible. It was really good. It cleared up completely. And I haven't used anything else since. Most people find that Head and Shoulders clears the dandruff ordinary dandruff shampoos leave behind. Use it regularly. It's really terrific. Sasha Distel. They asked me to try Mundate, and now I wear it all the time because it's sophisticated, long lasting, and very sexy. This is not fiction, this time it's for real. Mundate sings my songs. Not just a fun thing, like some kiss and run thing, forever was part of it. Mundate speaks my language. Mundate says what I want to say. And when I'm relaxing, Need I say more? It's all right, she's my wife. Mandate says a lot for a man. Another first from Flymo. New Flymo DXE, first ever hobble mower to cut and collect the grass. Light and easy DXE from the Flymo range. Quite simply, the most advanced lawn mowers in the world. Life is the name of the game, and I want to play the game with you. Life can be terribly tame. If you don't play the game with two And I want to play the game with you Much indeed. Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, and children. Welcome to the Generation Game. Nice to see you. To see you. Nice. There we are. And we've never seen our studio audience before, but you do look a lovely lot. And before the show, you know, people back home, we gave them a paper hat, a bottle of champagne, and some na <laughs> and some nuts. Didn't you get? Didn't you get your champagne? No. You think we're nuts? Um, <laughs> with pure syrup, lavish with thick chocolate. Bounty gives you the taste of paradise. When a woman is alone with Badadas, anything can happen.
Vitadas Vitabas Gele with extract of horse chestnuts. Things happen after a Vitadas bath. His transport command. Tough, realistic models specially designed for Action Man. They're all action. Just look for the Action Man Transport Command badge. It tells you they're the real thing. You can send off for a free workshop accessories kit by collecting the stars with every pack. Action Man. Transport Command. Only from Palatoy. My mum, listen to this. I've been watching you every week and you're looking peaky, son. It's all that driving around. <laughs> what you need is some good home cooking with lots of this. There's a new Oxo now, she says. It's got a bigger, beefier taste. Beefier taste underlined. Can't argue with that, can you? Oh, hang on. When are you going to get yourself a steady job? <laughs> new Oxo gives a meal more man appeal.
Is she or isn't she? Yes, she is wearing a hairspray. But it's Harmony hairspray in a brand new formula. So fine and gentle, you're the only one that knows for sure. New Harmony hairspray. Well, they can supercharge their hot rods, they can fuel inject the motors. But all I need is an ice box to cool my Pepsi Colas. Well, a fist full of Pepsi makes the chicks miss a beat. Nice motor, fellas. Wow, wow Pepsi, that's neat. So when you're cruising with your buddies and you want to jump the cues, let's yep. smack them Pepsi cues the summertime blues. Let's smack them Pepsi cues the summertime blues. On two, two now, more goings on in the Mobile Army Surgical Hospital with Alan Alder and Wayne Rogers in MASH. This is BBC One. This is the nine o'clock news. Good evening. Labour's overall majority looks like being three. Mr Wilson has called for a united country to beat the economic crisis. Mr Heath called on Labour to abandon what he described as divisive policies. Mr Thorpe says the Liberals are not a spent force. Britain's trade gap widens. Oil prices are mainly to blame. The bomb victims, the funeral of a girl soldier killed at Guildford and the end of three months in hospital for a family caught in the Tower of London explosion. So, Mr. Harold Wilson is back tonight at 10 Downing Street, but with an overall majority of only three. And so to the main points of the news again. In the election, Labour's overall majority looks like being three. Mr. Wilson has called for a united country to beat the economic crisis. Mr. Heath, in defeat, called on Labour to abandon what he calls their divisive policies. And Mr. Thorpe, though disappointed by his party's results, says the Liberals are not a spent force. And we've just heard the result of one of the outstanding seats in Scotland. Argyle was retained by the Scottish Nationalists. There are now only three results to come. And that's all for now. Our late news is at 5 to 12. We won't be with us then. And Kenneth Kendall and me, good night. Ultra Bright gets you noticed. Take Cindy. For three weeks, Cindy had flown with Captain Jim Sinclair, but Jim thought Cindy was strictly coffee, tea, or milk. Then Cindy discovered Ultra Bright. Ultra Bright White, Dynamite White, Dynamite Fresh. It got her noticed. That night, Cindy and Jim took off together. Her feet haven't touched the ground since. Fly new Ultra Bright for a smile so white it gets you noticed. Comfort softness on woolens, cottons, synthetics too. Try comfort softness on all your things. Comfort, now it's a new low price. The new Ford Capri. The difference between driving and just motoring. Performance, as sporting as you like. This new 3-litre gear does 0 to 60 in 9.5 seconds and 119 miles per hour. The well-proven suspension layout, long wheelbase and wide track give safe, predictable handling. Space, if you don't want to carry four people, fold the back seats down and you get a massive 22 cubic feet of it. The new Capri gives you a lot more car than you expect. 
performance, versatility, space, and for under £3,000 for the 1300, it'll cost you less than you think. You could win a new Ford Capri. There are seven Ford Capris to be won in the Daily Express. Win a new Capri. The details are in tomorrow's Daily Express. You know all about Mac Market's low price groceries, but what price are quality fresh foods? Look, streaky rashers, 53p a pound. Cooked shoulder, 14p a quarter. A choice of pâtés from 14p a quarter. Chestwood mushrooms, 32p a half. And there are many more at prices like these. All beautifully fresh and the quality is guaranteed. How do we do it? Well, fresh foods is where Mac's began. And it still shows. Mac Market. Superb fresh, fresh foods, foods, amazing prices. The first taste tells. The first taste tells. The first taste tells you it's every bit as good as it looks. And it's the same as new Stork SB margarine. This is nice. What's on it? New Stork SB. You see, Stork SB is now even better, with a smooth new look and a delicious new taste. So the first time you taste it, mm. you'll say... New Stork SB. Fancy calling new Stork SB margarine. Ideal Home magazine have designed a remarkable show house for Selfridges on the fourth floor, full of great ideas for your home. Read all about it in the March issue, Your Ideal Home at Selfridges, an exhibition of modern living until March the 22nd. <laughs> What do we do with a drunken driver? What do we do with a drunken driver? What do we do with a drunken driver? Think before you drink, before you drive. XL Holidays have just released a new programme to Greece. All scheduled flights, first-class hotels, good reductions for children even in high season, guaranteed prices. Phone 388-1122 for the XL Holidays brochure now. In just a few seconds' time, the latest news from ITN, and after that, football. Tonight, here at Villa Park, one of the world's greatest football stars has been turning on a glorious display of control skill. Yes, Johan Cruyff, the superstar of Barcelona, making his final appearance in England, is showing just how he earns half a million a year from football alone. His skill in the UEFA Cup, quarter-final tie between Aston Villa and Barcelona, will excite and entertain you in the midweek match tonight, right after the news. This is Thames from London. We now go over to Reginald Bosenkett and Sandy Gall at ITN. Good evening. A select committee has made another strong attack on a minister. This time it's Mr. Dennis Howell. 195 people have escaped from a plane which went out of control on takeoff in Los Angeles. The IRA have used a new machine gun to kill a British soldier. An anti-communist movement in Angola has claimed that it's ex executed 139 Cubans and a little girl has been given back her sight. First, the committee and the minister. Backbench MPs have again attacked a minister for his handling of a nationalized industry. One of the environment ministers, Mr. Dennis Howell, is criticised for his treatment of the British Waterways Board, who run most of Britain's canals. It's only a week ago that the same committee on nationalised industries were attacking Mr. Varley and the British Steel Corporation. The MPs say Mr. Howell cast what they call an astonishing and unwarranted slur on the professional competence of the Waterways Board. 
They also say he doesn't appear to understand the proper role of a nationalised industry, and they recommend that responsibility for the waterways should be taken away from him and handed over to the Department of Transport. Mr Howell says he's saving his reply for Parliament. Here's our political editor, Julian Havlin. So the Select Committee haven't lost their remarkable appetite for government ministers. They've taken quite a bite out of the hitherto cheerful person of Mr Howell, who in between being Minister for Sport and looking after floods and droughts, is in charge of the nationalised British waterways. The committee say Mr Howell doesn't understand how a nationalised industry should work. They say relations between the government and the waterways board are deplorable and they blame him. But Mr Howell's unlucky perhaps to get so much stick. The committee show that the Waterways Board, ever since it was reconstituted ten years ago under a new and combative chairman, Sir Frank Price, has been fighting for its life against successive governments who've wanted to merge the canals with the water supply industry so that their upkeep will be paid for, as Sir Frank puts it, by ratepayers and the people who turn taps on. The committee, under its equally combative chairman, Mr Russell Kerr MP, backs Sir Frank all the way. They say the government's plans to kill off his board should be scrapped at once. And they agree with his belief that the canals have a commercial future for freight carrying, which the government don't seem to believe. In particular, they urge the government to go ahead with a scheme to raise the capacity of this canal, the Sheffield and South Yorkshire, to carry much bigger barges, mainly between Rotherham and Doncaster. Parliament's already approved and the common market's ready to help pay. So it's a test case, the committee say, of the government's attitude. They say the government's characteristic dilatoriness has greatly increased the cost. stay in the sun longer because Ombre Solaire has a special new filter to help protect and moisturize your skin for a deeper tan than ever before.
And we're just 30 laps to go, eh? Come along, darling, walk is. Come on, come along, Roger. It may come as a nasty shock, but people need exercising just as much as dogs. If you just went for a few good walks, that'd be a start. The chances yeah. are you'll actually like it. On you go. Here, Roger, fetch. And once you really get going, your heart, your lungs, your muscles all get stronger. You'll shake off depression. You'll feel a new man. Hang on. Or a new yeah. woman. Yeah. Where you go. You'll put more effort into everything you do. And get a lot more out of it. A few minutes exercise every day could add so much to your life. Look after yourself. We look forward to seeing you all again soon. Until then, bye-bye, God bless, look after yourself. Bonne. 
Il du bon Du bon et vous been a drink as frosty as new Fresca. Fresca has a refreshing new taste, the freshest, frostiest taste of grapefruit. And something else, hardly any calories. New low-calorie Fresca. It's fresh, it's frosty, it's Fresca. Blimey. I never knew they looked like that. You know what they look like? They're sort of aid. Get more milk there on the attack. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, because the Humphreys are back. Because this is our Just Before Christmas show. Happy Christmas to everybody. Now, tonight's show is the last all-winners program of the Opportunity Knocks 1971 season. Tonight, you will be seeing one of the acts who next week will be winning that great show business accolade, the Variety Club of Great Britain Opportunity Knocks Trophy. Which act will it be? Now, play small becks amongst the family and see how good a talent spotter you are. And next week, find out who the winner is. But right now, let's find out who the nation played first with your votes last week. Now, the studio winner was Master Neil Reed. But how did you vote? Well, in third place, it was the magnificent voice of Dino Pardy. In second place, it was those wonderful youngsters, the Beresford Junior Brass Band. But once again, yes, you've guessed it, you voted for him from Bonnie, Scotland, Neil Reed. Neil! <laughs> Now, Neil, I want to say one thing to you. You should be a very proud young man because I just spoke to Dick Rowe of Decca Records and he tells me <coughs> there is every possibility that you're going to find yourself right up there in the top of the hip parade, around the top of the hip parade next week. Now, how do you feel about that at, tw at 12 years of age? I really feel great about that. You do? Good for you. And how's your record going, Neil of the Elephant? Have you sold many since last week? <laughs> <laughs> you mean my York record of Nelly the Elephant, since you were very kind enough to draw it to the public's attention. As a matter of fact, I, I've sold one. Who bought it? Who bought it? Nelly the Elephant. <laughs> what are you going to sing this week? I'm going to sing my record again, Mother of Mine. Mother of Mine, great. That's, how much did you say it cost? It cost 50 pence, ladies and gentlemen, and just in case you've not done your Christmas show. Get away out of that's enough, that's enough. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, for Master Neil Reed singing his Decca record once again, Opportunity Knocks. In my Liverpool 
home. Marlene Wilcox is a Liverpudlian who uses stork super blend margarine and she's been voted a stork superman by her friends and her family. She's been a mother to me as well as the children. Well, that's a lovely thing. She's my confidant and I oh. know everything that I tell her goes no further. Oh, no further than the end of the street. Oh. Really, we're all fools together. I think it sums you lot up. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you love her? Sixty pence. Sixty pence? <laughs> so that's why I chose her. Because she's perfect. Oh. Everybody. Oh. And now, my little live bird, why do you prefer Stork SB? Well, Bruce said, and the kids like it. Doesn't it spread well, whack? <laughs> <laughs> Stork Super Blend Margarine helps a good mum become a super mum. Copacabana Beach, Rio, where millionaires gather to take in the sights and forget about income tax. Next to me is the richest man in the world. Tell me, sir, how did you accumulate your vast fortune? Someone has stolen my watch. Is that such a great loss? It was a seconda. Gold-plated, day and date calendar, beautiful bracelet. Must have cost a fortune. It did. Fifteen pounds fifty. Only fifteen pounds fifty? And you're the richest man in the world? No one got rich by wasting money. Okay, girls, I'm gonna have to search you all over again. <laughs> Seconda, a lot of watch for a little money. Wonderful. Wonderful. Honestly, it's been a great pleasure working with you. Yes, Thank you very absolutely much. fantastic. I'll go now. Yeah, see, the, see end of the, the bus show. stop. Nothing more to do. Fine. Okay. I'll see the bus stop then. Right, right. I'll get your taxi for you. You're not going to do anything together, are you? No, you? nothing at all. Why should we? Don't be ridiculous. No. Okay, no. okay. Right. Okay. Yes. Cheerio. Bye. How's he going? Could we have the sticks, please? Right. Open the curtains. Music! Bring me sunshine in your smile. Bring me laughter all the while. In this world where we live, oh, there should be happiness. So much joy you can give to each brand new bright tomorrow. Make me happy through the years. 
never bring me any tears. Let your arms be as warm as the sun from up above. <laughs>